Hello YouTubers, today I will be showing you how to do a slow motion in Adobe After Effects using some flame blend <laughs> using some fla frame blending, not flame. Um, and uh, the reason why I'm doing this is, well, I know that there's a lot of tutorials on this that a lot of, pe lot of other people have done, but I thought that I'd give it a go because my tutorials generally get a, some positive feedback and. Um, I thought that it'd be worth it, but yeah. Um, also, Jamie keeps on requesting this and reminding me, so I thought I'd just do it for him as well, since he's so stubborn and doesn't want to watch any other tutorials. But I'll be showing you how to do something along the lines of this. It's just some Gears of War footage of a side roll. Goes all nice slow-mo. It looks a bit warped, and then it's a smooth headshot. And that's it. Um, I don't exactly know. Into I don't I don't know much detail as to exactly how it works. Whether it's something, I think it's along the lines of how each frame is duplicated on either side of it, and then it's blended with the previous frame, or something along something like that. I don't know. But anyway, let's get to it. You want to start a new composition with whatever kind of resolution you want. Um, and then you want to drag in some footage of either real footage, if it might be a fight sequence that you're doing for some sort of filming, or maybe gaming footage, like what I've got here. Drag that in, and then um, you want to go to the point which you'd like to slow motion. So I pick up the sniper, and then I've gone a bit too far there probably about there just as I pull the trigger. So what you want to do here is enable frame, frame blending then double click the frame blending button switch thing here so that it goes into a full diagonal line from bottom left to top right. If you do not have these options here then click on toggle switch modes there it is and it will give you the options. Uh, once you've enabled the frame blending you can right click on the track go to time and enable time remapping as you can see we've now been given some um, keyframes and what you can do is now zoom in a bit more just to, so we can pinpoint exactly where we want the things to be and we can add another keyframe here so what we've done is selected the point where we want to start the slow motion and we've added a keyframe and now we want to go to the point where the slow motion wants where we want the slow motion to finish so just after the headshot in this case, probably about there maybe. So we'll add another keyframe. And now we've got all four keyframes set. We have the beginning, the end, and where we want the slow motion to begin and where we want the slow motion to end. So what we wanna hit what we wanna do now is manipulate the time by moving keyframes. So if we were to move this second keyframe all the way to the left, what it would do is it would play the beginning very quickly, then it would slow-mo this part here, then it would play the rest regularly because we haven't moved anything between these two keyframes. Um, so that's kind of that's common sense. I'm sure if you play about with it you'll understand exactly what I mean by moving the keyframes. But for now I'll just tell you exactly what you should do. You wanna drag either the start or the finish point of the slow-mo to either side, away from the center. So we'll take the second one, where we want the slow motion to end, and we'll drag it, let's drag it pretty far, because we want this to be really slow. So we'll drag it really far up to about there. And now that middle part has gone all slow motion. If we were to play it, if we were to RAM preview it, if you can click here to RAM preview, I'm not going to do that because uh, I'm recording with Camp Student, it will really make the um, make After Effects lag. So what I'm going to do here now is select my region which I want to render by dragging in this thing here, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but we just want to set that to the very point where we want it to end. And there we have it, we can now go to Composition, add this to Render Queue. Um, then we can 
So if you'd like to render the audio, if you do want it to have sound, then go into lossless and check audio output. Um, also select where you want it to be rendered to, what folder you'd like it to go to. And that is it. We can click render and um, obviously depending on how much you've slow motioned it, depending on how long your clip is, it may take long, it may take uh, it may it may it may be very quick. My RAM isn't incredibly good. My computer's not phenomenal. It's only got a two gig RAM, so it's going at a, at a steady speed, not as fast as I'd like it to. But hey, can't complain. So uh, I'll let this be, and once it is done rendering, I will show you the finished product. And this is now the finishing product. Picks up the sniper, slow motion, bang, smooth. And then it goes really fast forward. There we go.